That is the Kelty Red Wing 3100. This is a little bit of an older model, but man, has that been worth the price I paid for it. These are good, sturdy bags, and for the price, well worth it. But I got a question the other day, how do you use the, uh, the molly straps here on the bottom? And I guess I'd answer that as the, your imagination is really the limitation, but this is kind of a nice, easy way that I like to use them. So if you want to put a sleeping bag down there, maybe a tarp, uh, in this case just what I'm going to use for demonstration purposes is a wool blanket. So this is the end product, real quick, this is what it's going to look like. So now, now that you've got an idea of what we're doing, I'll show you how to do it. So I've got a piece of paracord here, this is about, oh I don't know, six, seven feet long or so. A lot of that will depend on how big your item is here. If it's a big sleeping bag, you're going to want this longer. But just get one single piece, and then I'll show you how we're going to set this up right here. So here's the two working ends of your piece of cord that you have. You're just going to put one through the end here. Take the other side, put that through the other side of the bag, pull that through, and then what I'll do is I'll just get the two ends, match them together like this, and pull. Oops, don't want to do that. So that we look like this. So what you want, you want the middle of the rope to be right here. It doesn't have to be exact, but it'll just help you out a little more. So now that we've got the middle of the rope here, one end here, one end here. You'll put your item just like so. Now, this piece right here, you're just gonna grab that, pull it down, and then bring up one side that's going down here. Bring it up through. Do the other side, same way. And now, that's pretty much what we're going for. But what you're going to do here is we're going to tie a knot on each side. Let me reposition the camera so you can kind of get a good close-up shot. What you're going to do, kind of pull that down. Now you can see the tension being loosed because I'm letting go of the other side. So I'm going to grab this, pinch it, so this, this is my working end. I'm going to throw that underneath, pull that through, but you're going to leave this loop right here. You're going to get a bite, stick it through that loop, and then just pull up and tighten it. And then, because you're carrying this, what I would do, I'd do at least one more. So I'm just going to shorten that loop to make it easier when I tighten it. Get another bite. Put it through. And tighten it again. Like so. Now, to back this out a little bit, just so you can see where we are. So now I'm going to get this other side. And I'm going to do the same thing to it. This is going to allow me to get a little bit tighter because I've got it this side anchored. So here we are on the opposite side. So this is coming up on the bottom. This is the top. So it's crossed. It's going to bring it, I'm going to pinch this section here, bring it down underneath, leaving this loop right here. Take a bite, pull it through that loop, and tighten it down. I'm just going to pull this loop down a little bit, do another bite, sticking it through that loop, tighten that one more time. So again, that's where we are. Now you can leave it like this. 
and this, these extra long pieces if you want you can just kind of tuck them up into there and when this is packed full it it'll tighten them real good if you want to to finish this knot off to get a little more security you can take this working end instead of doing another bite and sticking it through like that just take the end all the way through and then pull it down on itself and that'll kind of tie this this knot off so it's not a loop and it might catch on something so we can do the same thing to the other side tighten it down on itself a little bit and there you go now what I really like about this is to get it undone is very simple as long as you don't really cinch these down so you're just going to unthread the one pull that all the way out I'll do the same to the other side now this is the cool part about these knots and you're done and that's it hope that is helpful on how to use these little molly straps underneath um, I kind of like this setup and what you could also do is maybe if you can figure out a use for this uh, paracord for something else up there too um, that way you're saving that much more weight if that's a big issue to you so you're using this for more than just one thing but uh, just an idea something that I like to how I like to use the molly cords on the bottom of these Kelty bags or other bags where it may be applicable.